So in here, we have uh, to work on this. So what I'm going to do here is this, that I'm going to use the equations editor and I just copied it there. And I, I hope you can copy and paste it in. Oh no, that was not the best way to do that. Or uh, let me see, well, works. I hope you can do that too, other, or otherwise just write the uh, main ingredients and then work on it. So we got a large tank which has 100 gallons of fluid with uh, 10 pounds of salt dissolved in there and then uh, this is a so salt solution containing half pound of salt per gallon is being pumped in at the rate of six gallons per minute and then we are pumping it out at a rate of four gallons per minute and we want that how much salt will the tank have after how many 30 minutes right okay so again in these kinds of situations you know that you would uh, just go ahead and uh, write your differential equation okay so and the differential equation will be written in terms of what say if a is the amount of salt at t minutes after the process is started then how much salt are we gaining each minute says half a pound per gallon at a rate of six gallons per minute so that means we are gaining it at a rate of uh, three pounds per minute so and again a is the amount of salt at any instant so if a is the amount of salt at any instant then what we would do we'll divide a by the quantity in gallons of the solution that we have at any time so how much solution do we have well we have 100 to begin with right and then the up we are pumping in at the at a rate of six gallons per minute and out at a rate of four so we got this right okay and um, then uh, we are pumping it out at a rate of four gallons per minute so this is the amount of salt per gallon at any time and it is being pumped out at a rate of how much four gallons per minute right so this is uh, this is a differential equation that we created and uh, a at zero is or the amount of salt in the beginning is how much 10 pounds right okay so what you have then is that you have uh, you got three and then here you have two t and this is what this is a four okay so i could have taken a as y so you can see we have da da dt and then uh, y and then um, you know rest is just a function of t or in other words uh, we have uh, da dt plus okay this quantity here right i can write a separately just to okay all right and that equals three so i can take that as a linear equation in a and t and then what happens this becomes our integrate uh, sorry e to the power integral of this becomes our integrating factor right so let's just integrate this quantity here okay so if we integrate this quantity or take the antiderivative then well 4 will step outside and then here we got 100, 100 plus 2t so if we take that as uh, say 100 plus 2t if we substitute u for that okay then uh, what the answer would be here for the integration one half then uh, natural log of 100 plus 2t all right which is two times the natural log of 100 plus 2t and uh, since we are going to take exponential of that i'm again going to do the same thing 
as we de did in the question in the beginning that this is this quantity to the what second power right so if we take e to the power this natural log of that quantity is square okay then uh, oh, sorry so then what will happen is that that square will just be down here right and exponential and logarithms they are just uh, inverses of each other so we are integrating factor is to 100 plus 2t square so this is the equation that we are solving so our answer would be what 100 sorry plus 2t okay, square and then we got what then we got a and that equals now we will take the antiderivative of the right hand side and that will be three times we get the same thing again okay here dt plus a constant right Okay, or we could have put the constant at the end. So you got what? You got this here. So on the right hand side, the antiderivative would be what? Uh, again, we can take uh, 100 plus 2t as uh, u or say w, you know, whatever. Okay, so that will become one half quantity cube over 3 just by using the power rule, right? Okay, so let's just go ahead and write that down. Okay, so that becomes, again, 3 will be canceled by 1 over 3. So we simply get 1 half. Okay, I forgot my A here. Okay, and then simply 100 plus 2t to the power what? To the power sorry to the power uh, 3 right let me write it down to the power 3 here okay so now if we put t equals uh, 0 in here then uh, a is how much in the beginning a is 10 so 100 square would be what 10 to the power 10 to the power 2 times 2 is 10 to the 4 and then when initially it is 10 so that will be 10 to the power uh, what it will be 10 to the power uh, 5 right okay times uh, and yeah we incorporated a in there and this is you know 100 is 10 square then cube would be 10 to the 6 okay so this is 1 half 10 to the power what 6 plus uh, c so what do we get here and this will be 5 times 10 to the power 5 so i think c will be negative 4 times 10 to the power 5 I'm doing it too fast so but I'm showing my work that if accidentally I got something wrong the grader would be lenient hopefully okay all right so there we go okay so what is our answer then our answer simply is this I mean, I could have done this that divided by, you know, our answer. Let's write this equation here. Okay. So there we go. Okay. So A, and then for this, I would write okay, negative 4 times. 10 to the power 5 okay. 
so now what we now we are about the end here so we will uh, just go ahead and take this uh, portion okay down here in the next line okay and then we get minus uh, 4 times uh, 10 to the power 5 okay and I can just divide or I could have done it like you know earlier also divided by 10 to the power sorry 100 plus 2t square to get the value of a let's just do it because you know that gives us a explicitly as a function of t so what do we have here uh, we have uh, 1 sorry not 2 1 over 2 and when we divide by you know this quantity 100 plus 2t square Okay, then uh, square here. So uh, actually, we will get that on the top, won't we? Sorry about that. So here we will simply get a hundred plus two t on the top, and I'm not canceling that one half right now, but you know that will cancel minus. Uh, then we have four times. Okay. Uh, 10 to the power 5 okay all right divided by 100 plus 2t square right now we need the answer for after how many minutes after 30 minutes so let's get the calculator up okay so this is what uh, this is like 50 plus t so that would be 50 plus uh, 30 all right because minus okay 4 uh, times 10 to the power 5 divided by how much 100 plus 2 times uh, t is uh, 60 so that would be 100 uh, 60 square I don't think that I need this sign here okay so squared and then let's close the parentheses so what we have is uh, we got 64.375 gallons here so we can just go ahead and uh, write it in 64 point three seven five okay and then go ahead and accept our expression okay so that answer is saved this work is saved and if I did that in the paper on the paper then I can just go ahead and attach that file here okay so let's uh, go over to uh, this question here the system of equations okay 